Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a juicy minty soap using this fragrance. It's called Nectarine and Mint from Nature's Garden. Ooh, this smells good. It's juicy, minty, just like you think it should smell. And um, the reviews on it says it doesn't cause any discoloration or acceleration. So if this performs as good as it smells, it's gonna be a good one. Let me show you what colors I have going for today. Um, so I was thinking of nectarine when you cut into it and it has the sort of the, um, you know, the rind has sort of an orangey reddish and yellow hue and then it goes yellow to orangey red. So <laughs> what I wanna do is pour in layers and sort of do like a pointy swirl as I layer up. So I'm gonna, I have, um, I wanna do a combination of things here. I have yellow vibrance or sorry, Orange Vibrance, and My Red Obsession. So I'll kind of start with these two, then go to this one. Then I do have Yellow Vibrance, <laughs> which I wanna do some of that in there. And then I also wanna put some green in there to signify the mint. So I have this Apple Moss Green from Brambleberry, which to me is kind of a minty green. Love that color. So that's what I'm gonna do for like the pointy swirls going up and then on the top, I'd like to save some off and do some piping. I haven't decided if I want to do just like stars across the whole top or try to do like little nectarines with leaves. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I wanna see how this fragrance performs, how the texture of the batter is, but I definitely wanna do some piping on top. So um, for my liquid portion, I'm going to be using aloe vera juice because I just thought it's summer right now, it's hot outside and aloe vera juice sort of spoke to me with this fresh nectarine mint scent. I thought it went along with that whole theme. So that's gonna be the liquid portion. I'm gonna get everything pulled together and let's make some wonderful juicy nectarine and mint soap. All right, I get a lot of questions on how I add my silk to my solution. So let me tell you what I got going on here. This is my measured lye, and in here is my aloe vera juice that I have dissolved a tablespoon of raw organic cane sugar in there. And uh, you dissolve it before you add the lye, because if you do it after, um, it doesn't dissolve very well. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Trial and error. But so many people have been so helpful, and I got a lot of tips from... Um, people on my other videos giving me ideas on how to do it. So anyway, the cane sugar is dissolved in there. This is very cold. My aloe vera, I keep it in the fridge. After I add my lye here, I'm going to put this in an ice bath. That just cools it off faster. You can just mix your lye, set it aside, and let it cool, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw this in an ice bath, but it's already cold. I'm going to plot my little, it looks big here, but if, I mean, silk is so, it's a cotton ball size of silk. And uh, I just pulled the strands out. This is Tussa silk fiber today. So I'm gonna throw it in here and push it down with my spatula and dump my lye in. This is not uh, very, you don't have to go slow like you do with milk or anything. Just get all my lye in there and stir it around till it dissolves and it will get hot enough to melt that silk up really nice. So I'm gonna get my face back away from this even though you have safety glasses on, but you don't want to huff the fumes up into your lungs either. So if you can do this near a vent fan or outside, that would even be preferential. Uh, my basement here has a very high ceiling and good airflow, so I'm comfortable doing it down here and I just kind of hold my face away from the lies. It heats up right now. It's very hot already. And let's see, the silk is all melted. And that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna go throw this in an ice bath and get my oils uh, going and we'll move on. So I've got all my oils in here prepped and ready to go, which has my um, kale and clay and colloidal oats and the fragrance is in here. And I've mixed that all together and let it kind of sit and anchor in the oils. And then my aloe vera solution over here has the cane sugar and it has sodium lactate and the tussa silk. So that's what's going on in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hand stir this in because I've got three colors to split off. And I do have my piping bags all prepped and off to the side here. If hopefully everything will behave, I'm gonna get some of the batter in those piping bags. So I'll just stir this to go to emulsion. 
And for the piping bags, I just have a little round tip, a medium sized round tip, and a leaf tip. So I'd like to um, put some of the orange red in a piping bag with the round tip and sort of do little balls to sort of uh, resemble a nectarine. <laughs> and then the green leaves, I'm hoping, will be minty looking. <laughs> I don't know, this is sort of what's in my mind. So we shall see. It's artistic interpretation, right? All right, I think that is emulsed. So let me get over my containers for my colors here.
It's been about 24 hours and I cannot wait to see how that pointy pour swirl came out in here. Um, I did steam the top of this earlier, so it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, just to shiny it up. So, and uh, if you don't know how to steam, I have an earlier video with steaming. Uh, it's just a handheld clothes steamer. I got it on Amazon. The link is in the description box below. And um, you just run it along the top of your soap and it'll shine it up if there's any soda ash or dullness it just brightens it up so that's why I steam the top of my soaps sometimes I don't do it to every single soap but this one I did and you can see it just almost gives it a wet soap look but this is completely dry to the touch so you steam it let it dry and then you can cut it so that's what we're doing here cannot wait to get in here. It smells great today. The scent retention is very nice on this fragrance. Let's get in here and see how those pointy swirls came out. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look like a nectarine, but I love the colors and I think they get the point across pretty well. Oh, I like that. Oh, I think these are really fun. And my little faux nectarines. I think they're cute. The colors are right and um, you know, I think you get the point. I, I'm kind of digging these little pointy swirls. I like it. <laughs> 